This is the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 14, and it reads, The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Our praises, our power, our glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Bahashem Rakaha Kodash, Yahweh being the name of the Father who the world even calls God, Yahweh, meaning He exists, Bahashem meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, the name of the Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh Shai, meaning He is the deliverer, He saves. Bahashem in the name, Rakaha Kodash, Spirit Holy. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach on the rule world who taught me this truth. Peace, salutation to the Akyam, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four quarters of the earth. To the Akwathim listening, listening, learning, sincerity, and truth, and in silence, Shalom. Akyam, meaning brothers, Akwathim meaning sisters, Shalom, meaning peace be unto you. And we'll get right into it. RT, RT News, July 14th, 2023. The hopeful year that all these prophecies come to pass. And the title here of this article, Biden mobilizes reservists. Up to 3,000 U.S. troops will augment Ukraine-related operations in Europe, the White House has said. Right, so these, these, uh, these devils are now putting it on paper, letting it be known that there's going to be American troops in Europe for Ukraine-related operations. Right. The buzz has been out that that UK uh, Salakia, that American troops have been there, right? But it's never been official, right? So now they're officialized. They're 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 uh, they're making an official press release that three three thousand U.S. troops are going to be mobilized, right? This is wars and rumors of wars, right? Scriptures say, measure the times diligently, right? Measure the times diligently for what? The signs. Quick scripture. Matthew. Matthew. Matthew chapter. Bear with me, Salakia. Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. Verse 3, and it reads, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, Yahweh the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? Right, so the disciples are asking the Lord, Yahweh you know, what are the signs we need to be looking for? Tell us. What are the signs of your return and of the coming of the end of the world? Right? Look at this word world. <clears throat> it's eon, meaning time, time period, age. Right? Not the end of the not the end of the world in an oikumeni sense. Right? Let's get it real quick. Right? So the Lord gave the Lord gave his disciples signs to watch for. Right? This is a sign right here. Matthew 24. The word world. In verse 3. Matthew 24 verse 3. The word world. Strong's G. 165. 
Strong's G-165. I own. I own. Forever, an unbroken age, perpetuity of time, eternity, the world's universe, period of time, age, right. So the disciples wanted to know, when will be the, when will be the end of the time of the Romans? Right, and we are in the revised Roman Empire, Rome 2.0. America, NATO, the EU, the beast. Matthew 24, verse 4, And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. Verse 6 is the point. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right, so these things are going to happen, ultimately leading into World War III. Right, the missiles, the laser beams from the chariots, what the world even calls UFOs. Right, but leading up into the time of World War Three, the time of Jacob's trouble, the Revelation thirteen verse sixteen on down, the sea hip. Right, we're seeing a lot of we're seeing a lot going on. We're seeing uh, society as it is continue to de continue to destabilize. We're seeing the sea hip in mainstream news, the C H I P, the Revelation thirteen verse sixteen on down, the grain of rice. That's the mainstream news, man. And we're seeing these wars, rumors of wars. We're seeing the, the, the economic collapse, the de-dollarization, which is all going to lead into the time of Jacob's trouble. Right? These are all signs. Zechariah 14. Zechariah 14, verse 12. And it reads, And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Right, and what's this plague? Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Right, this plague is the missiles. Right, this is this is nuclear fallout. This is the missiles hitting. Right, you ever see that, that, that movie clip with Sarah Connor in Terminator 3, I believe it is, where she's holding on to the fence? She's dreaming and she's holding on to the fence and you see the light flash and then the, 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 the besom of destruction, the besom of destruction, the lake of fire. And then you see her holding on to the fence and her skin, consu her skin consuming away up upon her body. Right? Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes. Right? And this is twofold. Right? I, the eyes are literally going to consume away in their holes, but the eyes also are their knowledge, their light. Esau's, Esau's light. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth, their tongue, twofold. Their tongue is literally going to, your, your tongue is going to literally going to disintegrate in, the, in, in, in your mouth from the nuclear fire. But this is also going into their witchcraft, their philosophy, right? The Lord is going to done away with Esau's rulership, Esau's power structure, man. Second Peter 3 says the heavens should pass away with great noise. The great noise being the missiles. The heavens being their rulership. Their, 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 their hierarchy, their structure. Let's get that scripture since we quoted it. Second Peter 3, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Right, the day of the Lord. The missiles. With Yahweh Shai and the hosts of heaven. Hosts being armies, the armies being the angels, the chariots, what the world even calls UFOs, the ships. In which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, right? The heavens being Esau's rulership, right? Shall pass away with a great noise, the great noise being the missiles. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the missiles, man. Fervent heat. Look at this word fervent. Fervent heat. Fervent heat. 
fervent with fervent heat Strong's G Strong's G 2741 Kausao Kausao in the Greek to burn up set fire to to suffer with feverish burning be parched with fever in the Strong's to set on fire fervent heat right and what's going to set this place on fire? The missiles. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Right. All, all manners of wickedness. The work, which is all wickedness. The works that are therein. Right. Nothing but wickedness in this place, man. Alphabet boy lifestyle. Wicked abominations. Abominable acts. Degeneracy. All going to be burned up. Right, right. Listen, these elites are making their moves. They're moving their chess pieces. Right, and this whole thing, everything as we know, is going to be collapsed. Right, going to be shaken up, going to be turned upside down. Right. World War Three. We open up with that scripture. One more was passed. We open with that scripture. One more was passed. Let's read it again. Revelation eleven. Verse 14, and it reads, The second world was passed, the second world, second war, World War II. Behold, the third woe, right? This woe means the woe means destruction, right? This word woe, destruction. World wars. The third woe cometh quickly, World War Three, right? Scripture says it's gonna happen, it will happen. Right? You hear all these people out here pray for peace. Listen. This place is going to wax worse. It's going to continue to wax worse. Right? We are in the beginnings of sorrows. Isaiah 9. Let's close. Verse 5. And it reads. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. And garments rolled in blood. Right? Ancient wars were fought on battlefields. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Swords clanging, arrows, battle axes, garments rolled in blood, right? The injuries on the battlefield, people dying out. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. This what? This war, this third war, shall be with burning and fuel of fire. The missiles. So with that, stay prayed up, pray without ceasing. Call Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Hashem Rakaha Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, a teacher, and a rule well, shall to the hopeful elect.